What's up, everybody? Chloe here, back for another fun video. And today, we're going to be reviewing the limited edition Five Nights at Freddy's Blank the Badger plush. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Ugh, this isn't a FNAF character. This is a fan-made character. You are lying. Ugh. Well, to that I say, yes, but actually no. Well, yes, the character itself is fan-made, being from the popular for that fan game, Pop Goes. The plushie itself is actually licensed. For the few that don't know already, a few years ago, Scott Coffin, the creator of Final Fantasy Freddy's, made a little program called the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative, or just the Fanverse for short. In which he funds select FNAF fan game creators to make their own fan games under the initiative. There were other benefits too, like the creators of these fan games actually able to make a profit out of their games. Because normally fan games can't make any profit because they are for free. It was also said that these fan games would eventually be put on consoles, but as of now, that has not happened yet. And for the purpose of today's video, merch. Now, there is a lot of fan games out there for this initiative, and we don't have the time to list them all. Now, there are currently two fan games from the initiative that are represented by plushies at the current. Finance at Candies 4 and Pop Goes Evergreen. And they aren't even out yet. Anyways, enough about the backstory of this guy. Trust me, there's still plenty more to explain about this guy. Let's begin the review. Okay, let's do this thing. I'm gonna take off his tag now, and we're just gonna look at the tag real quick. Then then the real stuff will begin. He is free. He is free now. He is now free. So let's look over the tag real quick. So uh, the tag, as you can see, is um pretty basic, if I do say so myself. We got the GameStop exclusive logo, the Finance of Freddy's logo, the Funko logo, all the logos. Although, there is one thing to note. I do like this tagline on the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative logo. <clears throat> and I quote, Because every franchise needs a multiverse. I love it. That's so funny. Now, I just want to say right off the bat that this plush is amazing. How amazing, you ask? For starters, he is very soft. So soft that you can cuddle with him at night. Although, do know that he might murder you at night. He is an animatronic, after all, and they like to murder people a lot. Also, he is dangerously accurate to his in-game counterpart. And yes, before you hardcore Pop Goes fans start screaming in the comments, yes, I do know what this guy is actually based on, and I'll get to it later. And his embroidery? Man, it is really good. Also, his stitching is as well. Yet he does have a little bit of string near his eyes and some fuzz, but don't all your stuffed animals? Although there is one thing stopping him from becoming one of the great FNAF plushies. The mouth. Now, the nose and the mouth itself does look pretty good, if I do say so myself, and is, like, very accurate, like the rest of the plush, but... No, my main issue lies with the bottom jaw and it's because he doesn't have a bottom jaw it's like somebody played the got your nose game with him where instead of getting his nose they got his bottom jaw and they actually got his bottom jaw plus it just makes him look like an early uncomplete prototype in the released product plus it even looks worse than grim foxy's bottom jaw at least he had one well, yes, I know while the designers were making this guy, they didn't know how to give him a bottom jaw, so they just left it that way. But they're a big toy company, so I'm sure they could have found a solution. But now he can't eat anything, especially one of the many wonders of life, popcorn! But that doesn't mean he isn't a good plush. Why, quite the opposite. He is a very good plush. Plus... Look at that cute little tail! Oh my goodness, this tail's so cute! Oh, I love this dude so much now! Now, it is important to note that this guy is actually part of a trio. 
and the other two is Candy and Pop Goes. But those two aren't out yet, although I would imagine by the time you're watching this, they are out already. In which case, then you should probably go buy them. They look pretty good. Luckily, I was able to get Blake out of GameStop's website. And only because he was the only one there, and I really wanted these Fanverse plushies. But despite Blake being the first Fanverse plushie to come out, he's rare. Or at least will be. You see, to make a long story short, Funko and the creator of the Popco series, King Carter, had some miscommunication which ended up the Blake plushie being based on the old, outdated 2016 Popco design instead of the new, <coughs> modern Popco's evergreen design. Funko, being the smart and clever businessmen they are, instead of totally scrapping the design altogether, instead decided to release it as a limited plushie. Which means that once he is sold out, he'll never, ever be restocked. But despite this rarity, many FNAF fans say that he is the worst out of the trio. And yeah, I kind of agree. Now while he is a good plush overall, compared to the other two, which being Candy and Pop Goes, I just think one of those two is just better than him. But when I do get those two, I'll be the judge of that. And yes, I will make a video about these two when I get them. Eventually, of course. Perhaps I'll get the two from GameStop's website through a pre-order, or just get them in store. But it depends when this video comes out. And who knows? After I make the video for those two, maybe I can make a set video for all three of them when I get more comfortable and better at this YouTube thing. But as it stands, I only have Blake, and that's okay. He's rare, and he's cute, and I want to rename him to Tom, because he looks like somebody named Tom. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, guys, I guess that's the end of the video. Well, you know the drill. Like and subscribe if you like what you see, blah, blah, blah. You hear that stuff all the time. And also, sharing this video also helps me out, too. And also, I forgot to mention, it's Halloween time! So I hope you enjoy your Halloween time for this October. We get it once every year, so enjoy it. Anyways, have a good day, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Yeah.